Oh, hello. Welcome. We're picking back up and we're on episode three of Fountain Pen Flexi Nibs. Uh, mostly vintage. All right, we're going to get right into it. So this is our Avon pen. We've talked about it a little bit and no, we are going to write with it. We're going to tell what it is. I'm just, I'm going to write um, about the nib. Let's, I'm going to focus on the nib here. Wow. <laughs> Forget how soft these are. Sometimes this one is so buttery soft. Oops. Yeah, let's see. This is without flexing it. So see what we've got there. We've even got it squaring off for us. Like Yeah. Might even that I think this is broad. You know what? I'm gonna change I change my answer. And like I said, please feel free to, you, you, these aren't, these are just like my suggestions or, you know, what I think. I, I'd like to open it up for, for debate or, you know, open up for conversation. Okay, like uh, I think this is broad because I thought it was medium at first just because I thought it was a thicker line. But now that I'm writing with it, I'm thinking it's broad because it squares off like that and it's so easy to see. to say it's a super flex and the reason I'm saying that it's a super flex is because it doesn't take it barely takes any pressure to get it to flex and it delivers a lot of line variation when I do that when I flex it Uh, okay, now we're going to do the sentences. Let's see. So this sentence, the first time I'm going to use, I'm going to flex it. Mm 
without railroading. Oh, see, I did too much. Okay, next. This next sentence I'm going to write without flexing. And this ink I, I'm using is called Happy Holidays by Dimey. And yesterday, by the way, was a holiday. It was called National Fountain Pen Day. November 6th. This would be comfortable to use as a daily writer. All right. There we go. Right. Uh, very good. Next up, we've got a blackbird. Maybe Todd. Another maybe Todd. Maybe Todd blackbird. And this has scribble purple, scribble purple in it. It's got scribble purple. Mm. I like this pen. Oh, it's got this on it. You know, I think I'll take this off because it's actually like putting some indents on here and, and I don't really like that. And uh, oh, look at that. It's got some little some writing inside there. Swan fit on cat clip. And there's a number and it's a number one. I, I don't care for it though. I'm going to leave it off. There we I don't have 
much to say about this one. So we should get right on to writing with it so that we can decide whether we want to put it in a fine, medium, or broad camp and what kind of flexiness we want to give it. So let's, let's do that. I'm not good at deciding if between mediums and broads. I think it might be a broad because that's not applying any pressure at all. Like, bump, bump, that's how it is. There it is on the up. So is that a broad? It's kind of squarish. I don't know. It's medium or broad. Not quite sure. Right, and let's see. What do we have? This one's tough. I think, I mean, it's between a super flex and a full flex. I actually think this is a super flex, but it was sold to me as a full flex. <laughs> 